Hello and welcome back to our Java tutorial series. In last video, we explore multi-dimensional array and how they help us to organize data and row and column. But what if each row has different number of elements? Currently, we have seen like we have fixed data into row and column. But in case if each row has different number of elements, then what we will do? That's it where jagged array comes into play. So in the today's video, we are going to learn about jagged array. So generally what is jagged array? A jagged array is multidimensional array where the rows can have different length. This flexibility makes jagged array useful in scenario where data is not uniform such as storing test score of a student with different number of subjects. So if you don't know anything about 2D array then please watch the earlier videos. So how we can declare and initialize a jagged array? As I told you the row can have different size. So jagged array is declared as two dimensional array that means the type is here int to a square bracket but it is jagged because the second dimensional that means the size of each sub array is not specified and the outer array has fixed size of three this means it will hold three sub array so if i am going to put the data as you can see on your screen so the first sub array that means jagged array zero index is assigning an array of size 3 containing the value as 1 comma 2 comma 3 similarly the second sub array that means jagged array of one index is assigning an array of size 2 containing the value as 4 comma 5 and the jagged array of 2 that means the third sub array is assigning an array of size 4 containing the values 6 7 8 9 so you can see right at zero index we have one comma two comma three at one index we have four comma five and at index two we have six comma seven comma eight comma nine so if i want to access the value of two how we can access we can access like jagged array of zero and one index it will give the output as two because here row is zero and column is one so you can declare and in a slide in different way also like this at one line you can just specify the values like you can see on your screen so let's do the code so let's declare the first of all jagged array so i can say int a square bracket and a square bracket and you can give the name as jagged array so you can change the variable name it's depend on you and after that just declare the value like 1 comma 2 comma 3 4 comma 5 6 comma 7 comma 8 comma 9 so let's first of all try to access the value as 6 so how we can access so just use this out and you can give the variable name as jagged array and you can give the index position so the row will be 2 and the column will be 0 so let's run so you can see we are getting value as 6 so how we can iterate we can iterate as same as how we have iterated the 2d array so let's create one for loop and i can say here int row equal to 0 and row length how you can do just use jagged array dot length row plus plus because it is an increment way then similarly you can just use column also so i can say int call equal to zero always it will start with zero index and you can say like call will be less than jagged array of row that means zero index one index and two index dot length because at the first time we are going to get data like this one so it is one array that's why we are using here jagged array of row that means at first time it will be jagged array of zero so we'll get this data then length length means one two three we'll get the length as three then call plus plus and just use here sys out and how you can access the data you can just use jagged array after that row and column so if you have a doubt what i am doing please watch the multi-dimensional array video so your all the doubt will be clear where i have explained in depth and detail now if i will run it will give me data as a one line so let's comment this one and remove this print ln and just use here sys out so if you run now it will give the data as a row and column but this structure is not perfectly looking fine so what you can do just use double quotes and give a space so now if you run you can get the data like how we have declared if you have any doubt then please use the breakpoint 
and you can see at zeros index we have this array at first index we have this and second index we have this data and how we are iterating so some key point you have to remember like jagged arrays allows rows to have different length you need to explicitly in a slide each row before adding elements and use rows dot length to get the number of element in a specific row array row dot length so i'm giving one simple program you have to write a program to calculate the sum of all element in jagged array so advantage of jagged array jagged arrays are memory efficient since they allocate space only for the element you need they are ideal when working with data set of varying size such as seating arrangement in classroom or exam score so i'm giving one more task to you create a jagged array to store the number of goals scored by player in three football match where some player participated in fewer match write a program to find the average goal scored by each player i know this is little bit difficult but let's try to write your solution in the comment so in the next video we are going to learn about common array operation